And what we have up here is a very powerful pneumatic landslide generator. There's the red box where the gravel is filled in to mimic the landslide. The red box is accelerated down the ramp at high speed, the flap opens and the landslide is released to impact the water. The scientists here made a detailed analysis of what happened at Latuya Bay when 90 million tons of rock hit the water. They wanted to see how this impact had released enough energy to create a giant wave able to reach half a kilometer high. We adapted our model to mimic a cross-section of Latuya Bay. Up here we have the landslide generator representing the mountain where the rock fell off. At the other end we have a ramp representing the headland where the wave ran up to. And what we found when we ran the experiment was fascinating. What we found explains how a wave could reach the extraordinary height of 520 meters. A high-speed landslide impacted the water. The water moved away so fast that it couldn't flow behind the landslide, creating a large air cavity. Displacing far more water than the landslide volume itself, and this explains how a wave can have enough energy to run up half a kilometer and clear out everything in its way. The speed and size of the Latuya Bay landslide explains how the wave there could be so big when it was generated. This wave did not travel far. It struck land almost immediately. But mega tsunami are also able to cross whole oceans. <laughs> 